Taurus is in for Virgo, is in for Virgo as well. Back again with another reading. This time is the Romantic Love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So whenever you guys happen to watch this time of love reading, and it resonates with your particular situation, then there may be a message for you guys. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I really appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's get into it. All right. All right. Divine Holy Spirit, what romantic love messages do you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever they happen to watch this timeless reading? And as always, guys, take only the messages that resonate with you in your particular situation. If the reading doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? But if it does apply to you and your situation, consider liking the video sharing the video and subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell notification if you haven't done so already we would love to have you as a member of the soul tribe okay all right so we have the world card okay we have the queen of wands the six of pentacles the queen of swords the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Death Card, the Nine of Cups, and Judgment. Okay. Overall energy, the Three of Wands, a new opportunity. Uh, I feel like in the past you had graduated from an energy that you used to have or used to present or how you used to present yourself as the king or queen of wands here i feel like you were in an energy of like get, for some of y'all trying to get everyone to like you or in a relationship you were trying to get the person to see your value by giving too much of yourself too much of your finances too much of your emotions too much of anything too much of a good thing is not a good thing at all when you think about it everything that you do in life must be balanced okay six of pentacles okay you were too generous with this person but i feel like now instead of being all queen of wands all charismatic all trying to be everything to everyone or trying to be everything thing to one person you're more now coming into virgo placement your analytical side is the queen of swords this is the person who has been through things hard lessons that they had to learn about giving too much being you trying to be too much for somebody in a relationship i feel like now you're analyzing everything but i think with the eight of swords and the seven of swords spirit is trying to tell you don't overanalyze things because you can cause yourself anxiety especially within relationships if someone is seeing showing you who they are believe it and move accordingly if someone is acting in opposition to you move accordingly okay you have to confirm some things some things you don't use your intuition in moving forward in any matters okay whether they be romantic spiritual whatever i feel like for a lot of y'all y'all have kind of sort of let go of the oh let me be generous oh let me be charismatic oh let me be this to now over analyzing and spirit is telling you that you have to have a balance of of both energies otherwise you'll be in the eight of swords and seven of swords energy okay i feel like you're getting to the point where you realize this and you're like okay you're having a new turn a new beginning and i feel like a lot of y'all might feel like you just want to be by yourself for a while you're happy and fulfilled within yourself um, but I feel like Spirit is telling you, hey, you're being resurrected all the way around, whether you want to see it or believe it. You're getting new opportunities for love, whether you want to see it or believe it. You have the death card here. This is all about transformation. You have the judgment card here. This is definitely about transformation. Also, to changing your perspective on how a relationship is supposed to go. Not feeling like you have to overgive of yourself in order for someone to like you or love you or for some of y'all even tolerate you whatever that is only you know what that is okay let's say i feel like y'all felt like y'all honestly might not have been good enough for a particular person when the opposite may have been true i'm just saying 
people if you're dealing with someone and they always seem to put you down or make you feel like you have to give them something whether it be your time your attention whatever the case may be money whatever and they don't want to deal with you unless you have certain things then that's something that you need to take heed that's a warning and adjust accordingly and get yourself out of that particular situation okay that's what i feel on that okay so let me see additional messages okay additional messages for virgo sun moon rising and venus placements concerning romantic love for Virgo. Okay, what we have here. Then I t <laughs> Yeah, I had to let go of somebody in the past. Break up. Time apart is on the horizon. This may be short term or long term. For a lot of y'all, it's long term. Okay? It's like you can believe that that happened, but I guarantee you, if you think back and reflect, you'll know, hey, that happened for a reason. Okay? Any additional messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? Patience. Why, why the rush? There is no need to rush divine timing. Enjoy the journey because it is worth the wait. That's what I feel like y'all are trying to do now, but a lot of y'all still have anxiety about what you're experiencing now and what you've gone through. And it's tending to make you overanalyze things, okay? Just saying. All right. Any other message? Didn't I tell y'all y'all got new love coming? It says, if life were a movie, being with each other would be the best part. You both bring out the better parts of each other. Okay, so you're going to have someone coming in. But I feel like this is going to be at a time in your life, Virgo placements, where you're going through several different transformations and transitions in your life. And you're going to be content with yourself. That's when this other person is going to come okay they're gonna be the yin to your yang okay can't make this up butterflies enjoy the overwhelming ex excitement and bliss of new or old love but i think this is new for a lot of y'all for some of y'all it could be old take that with a grain of salt okay yeah a lot of y'all getting some new love some of y'all is gonna be uh someone from the past your recent past as always like i tell y'all Take only the messages that resonate with you in your particular situation and use your own discernment and intuition when dealing with anything, love, career, finance, or whatever, to make the best decision for you because at the end of the day, you're the one that's going to have to deal with it, okay? So that is all I have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe. Join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.